In this video, we'll be covering boudoir photography, including what it is, who it's for, the point of boudoir photography, what to wear, do's and don'ts, and some common poses. This video has been adapted from the written version on Imaginated.com by John Ross, photographer and published photography author. With that being said, let's dive in. Starting off, let's go over the definition of boudoir photography. Boudoir photography is a niche of photography that highlights and embraces the intimate and sensual beauty of one's body. Well, let's start off with what boudoir itself means. Boudoir is a French word that refers to a woman's private dressing room. Put simply, it is a cherished place that she has to herself with a more playful, provocative look, with nudity that is implied rather than shown. But in creating boudoir photos, it requires a thoughtful approach to the subject's body, clothing, and also personality. To those who are having their picture taken, boudoir is fashionable or glamorous, but to the photographer, there is a key difference. Fashion models are professionals who have experience in photography, but with boudoir, many of the subjects do not have the experience. Because of the style of photography, they are uncomfortable, and they might not know how to pull off even the most basic poses of boudoir photography. Thus, boudoir sessions require photographers to possess certain skills in directing, posing, and communicating. There are as many styles of boudoir photography as there are photographers. From classical looks that are dramatic, luminous, or playful, to Vogue images with the addition of vintage, pin-up, maternity sessions, and fine art nude ideas. With these many ideas of boudoir photography, there is also a required skill set for the photographer to communicate with their clients. From researching different photographer portfolio websites for some inspiration, to operational and technical prep. The key to success in boudoir photography depends on the photographer's clear vision of what their model wants, and the ability of the photographer to deliver on this vision. So we've covered what boudoir photography is, but who is this style of photography meant for exactly? Well, boudoir photography is for everyone who wants it. Perhaps recently you found yourself questioning who the real you is. Asking yourself about your true potential and who you've been lately. Then you decide to prove to yourself, not to someone else, that you are worth it, special, and unique. Then, boudoir photography suits you the most. You do not have to be a professional model or have any experience in posing. In fact, you can do boudoir sessions with no experience. Indeed, there is no need to worry about stripping down under the scrutiny of cameras that may make you feel intimidated or embarrassed. It is likely you will exceed the feeling of self-consciousness within a blink of an eye, realizing that you are in the hands of a professional. Boudoir photo sessions are of course common for women that are meant to exude sensuality and are intimate in nature. However, men are also welcome to explore a different side to their personality with boudoir sessions. There is something empowering about stepping out of your gentle shell and owning your desire. Now that we've covered who it's for, you may be wondering what the whole point of boudoir photography is. The simplest answer is, everyone is discovering their true beauty, and are also treating themselves to boudoir sessions because they are confident enough to do so. It can be a way to embrace their bodies and decide to mark special occasions like anniversaries, birthdays, and life milestones such as pregnancy or weight loss. Imagine taking a boudoir photography session as a basic spa day. This is a moment where you can relax and be pampered while being treated as a goddess as you pose in front of the camera. Once the session is over, you leave with pride, refreshed, more confident, and with stunning images of your glamorous moments at the studio. The more you know, boudoir photography sessions can be seen as the empowering and body-positive experience that it's meant to be. When it comes to boudoir, and everything else in life, it does not matter what size you are, how old you are, or any other details you might think are important enough to keep you from having this experience. It is about celebrating yourself and when you see the photos, they will make you feel beautiful in every way. Embracing every inch of yourself. I know some of you are still afraid and not willing to take the leap. But you must note that your body is a wonderland regardless of its flaws. Your curves, blemishes, and scars tell a story of your journey. Everyone is worthy of their own boudoir session. Your boudoir session is literally whatever you want it to be. No expectations come across when it comes to what you want during your session. 
you have the moment and opportunity to show yourself that you are proud of who you are. The beauty and confidence about boudoir sessions is incredible and inspiring to everyone. So what do you wear to a boudoir photo session? What you wear to a boudoir photo session really depends on yourself. But part of the boudoir experience should be mimicking looks that you love. Lingerie is the go-to for boudoir images, but it is not the only option. Many fun pictures come from mimicking vintage scenes or the golden age of Hollywood look from the 40s to 60s. Some clients might be looking for nude or implied nude images. But to put it clearly, these choices should concur with the stylistic choices and look you are going for that should have been discussed during the pre-session consultation. Your choices go hand in hand with the hair and makeup decisions made, and of course the lighting and posing techniques that will be used. There is a variety of combinations you can wear such as one-piece sets, two-piece sets, off-shoulder shirts, cover-ups, and shawls. This is what is commonly worn, but at the end of the day, wear what you feel confident in. Now let's look at some do's and don'ts of boudoir photography. First, remember to cut off all price tags from your clothing. Consider normal clothing if you feel it is too vulgar or you are nervous about revealing your body, such as cardigans, tank tops, a fitted button-up shirt, or a high-slit skirt slash dress. Many of these options can be paired with cute undergarments to make a very good outfit. Do consider that photographers will prepare white sheets, towels, pillows, or a prop to fit the scene. So do not worry and just relax, you are indeed in the best hands. Do not forget your accessories. Pearls, long necklaces, gaudy costume jewelry, hats, fishnets, or sheer black hose, and most you can consider this, cute shoes. High heels are great to extend the length and beauty of your legs. Do not wear anything too small that digs into your skin or creates an unflattering, muffin-top look. Do not break the bank on new clothes for the session. You might consider buying one main piece of clothing, but we can create stunning images with the items you already have in your closet and affordable pieces from your favorite e-commerce site. Start simple and grow more extreme from there. Think about what colors you like and be more confident with them. In the end, we want you to feel completely comfortable. Wanting to show more or less skin is up to you. Bring out your personality and feel free to bring something special as well as props. And, have fun! When it comes to common boudoir photography poses, standing, sitting, and reclined poses are often used. Look for inspiration from fashion and glamour magazines, but do not forget that boudoir is influenced from fine art. With your research, communicate your thoughts to your photographer to exchange ideas and give them a picture of what you want to share in the photos. Certain poses in boudoir photography emphasize legs and hips with focus on soft curves. Bent limbs, an arched back, or a twisted torso can be used to highlight curves and posture. And of course, do not forget about your hands. As with all portraits, hand positioning is critical for a relaxed and natural look. Keep in mind that in boudoir, less is more. Minimalist and simple poses can actually be better. A simpler wardrobe and background setting can be an advantage, because when it comes to boudoir, the fewer distracting elements and less clutter always makes a better image. In conclusion, we hope you enjoyed this guide on boudoir photography. And remember, do not forget to have fun during your own boudoir session. Let them all see how beautiful you are, inside and out. And if you enjoyed this guide, be sure to check out more photography resources on our website at imaginated.com. Thanks for watching.